Kamera up on USDS. First appearance in hockey between Minneapolis and Gilroy. Have fun and watching. Hey there everyone, nice to have you with us to the tonight's game of ice hockey and today's match is about the team of DHC Gilroy against the, against the team of Minneapolis HC. Live at World Virtual, HP Pavilion in San Juice, California. Where the team of DHC Gilroy got down in the last in the last game against Seafold Warriors with 6 to 2. So let's see whether they're able to make it better or not in today's game. So let's get into it. And we're now officially underway. The Minneapolis HC has won the puck at Central Ice. And now they've had the first shot in the game. And uh, leg saved by Reginald Johnson. And now Luce also on the other side of the pitch to Ginger Falcone. And her shot got rejected from one of the Minneapolis defenders. I don't know why, if I'm honest. And now Ginger Falcone with another attempt to get the shot on the goal. Good, good execution on the centering pass to his brother Zeke Falcone. But um, Jaden Kubler has watched out and has covered the puck with his glove. And that leads to a first phase. First face off in front of his goal in this game. Now it's one nothing lead at a face off statistics for the team of Minneapolis. Logan LaRue is in now in the attacking zone. What does he do? Sides the puck along the boards. And the team of Gilroy got back in possession. Gertie Willness sees the puck off of them. And He's lost it immediately. Cornelius Jones tells the puck right now. Slides over to Peter Korn. He digs and gets past his defenders. Garrett Delfino. He looks for a receiver, I think. Finds Cornelius Jones worth. First shot, first score from Cornelius Jones worth. What a lead for Gilroy. Cornelius Jones worth after approximately. Four and a half minutes of play. Gilroy is in the lead. Up to with one to nothing. No one has attacked. Garrett Delfino. And then he lets the puck on the back to his teammate Cornelius Jonesworth. And then he just fires it up and nailed the puck into the left bottom corner of the goal. Nice finish. No chance to react on this one for Jaden Kubler. Now Nick Gens. Let's back to Brandon Moore. Samson Mitter. Some space for the shot, but got rejected. But they're getting back in possession. And have made a rebuild. And uh, Virgin Johnson were able to stop the puck. Now it's the first phase of the round of his goal in this game. And this time Gilroy has won the draw. So the face of statistic is even between Gilroy and Minneapolis. Lusa Woffels! And Vermeer has stopped the shot successfully. And now they are over in the attacking zone. Cody Lawrence. Uh, cuts back in possession. And now Coach Karp. Take the puck off him again, but mm, well, they have to try to f a breakaway, but um, it was immediately a stop from Gilroy. So good defensive work from them, and now a big time chance to increase the lead up to two to nothing. But yeah, Minneapolis has watched out and has denied it, and they were really important in that situation. And now we've got the first. Hooking violation in this game against Ruby Reddick. Let's review the footage. Yeah, there was a touch on a on a back leg from Zeke Falcone. So if you ask me that the call were justified and she's now two minutes of thinking time in the box and now it's uh, it caused the first 
One man advantage for the team of Gilroy for approximately one and a half minutes right now. So now it will be a big time chance. For the team of Gilroy to increase the aptitude to nothing. But that's not the case. For now, Gertie Vilnis has brought the game back into even. They're still a minority, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's review the footage. Gertie Vilnis has won the draw and has got the vision for a teammate Mark Casper on the back. And um, she fires it up and somehow the ball got the puck got back to Gertie Vilnis. And she just placed the puck into the back of the net. Very nice finish from her and that's also her second. And now Gotti Williams with a breakaway. But oh, great defensive effort from Coach Carp against Gerti Vilnius. And that were really near the second goal for the team of Minneapolis HG within seconds. But do to the effort from Coach Carp, he has thrown himself into her into her run. And has defended the shot on the and has defended the shot on the goal. Very nice effort from him. Yeah, um, I will say about um, Gertie Wilnes that where her second goal in the second goal of the season. Now Gertie Wilnes has the puck back. She has the eye for Reddick on the other side of the rink and she has tried the flick but uh, it were way too wide. No face off in and for goal from Reginald Johnson. Minneapolis has won the draw. Havel Chapek to Brandon Mo Evan Morrow. An easy one to say for Reginald Johnson because of the fact that they shot right towards him. And it's always an easy one to say for the goaltender. And now they have won the draw again. Havel Chapek with a shot. Select safe. From Reginald Johnson this time. Uh, Zeke, uh, Ginger Falcone has got the overview for um, Lusa Waffles a few moments ago, and uh, it was a swing and a miss for him. Because he pulls the shot too wide and has, and has missed the yeah, left goalpost. Just an inch. And now they are um, chance to win a face off in front of a goal from Jane Cooper. It's not the case. And now Logan LaRue is now in the attacking zone. What does he do? Logan LaRue, he deeks it and gets past his defender. Finds Sophie Hansen Bart on the back. She shoots. And safe made by Reginald Johnson. And by the way, it was a beautiful attempt uh, from her to try to get to get a puck past Reginald Johnson by a backhand shot. But yeah, as you saw, it was it were the problem for him to save her attempt. Now, Kirk, Kirk. AJ Lawrence with a breakaway and. He successfully uh, tricked Reginald Johnson and he has made a 2 nothing, 2-1 two lead for, for, for his team. No one takes him serious and he has said thank you and nailed the puck into the right bottom corner of the goal. Like Gertie Wilnis a few minutes ago. And now it's 2-1 for the Minneapolis HC. Now Bridget 
Place the puck along the board. Richard has the puck in. Now Kunis Jones. 12! Like yes. Oh. And a swing and a miss for Cornelius Jonesworth. Again. Now they've had the chance to win a face-off in front of a goal from him, but that's not the case. And Gertie Winnis has lost against Pucci Magluder. She tries to flick it. The shot got way out of target. And that's finally the end of the first intermission. The team of Minneapolis HC is in front with 2-1 two to one after the one nothing lead from Gilroy. They've gotten the lead with um, two wonderful, goal, wonderful goals from um, Gertie Willness and... Um, AJ Lawrence and um, now before we get to the second submission we take a short look on the statistics uh, the mayor I see on the lead with the face of the statistics 84% to 15% and uh, many is also in the lead with their shots the statistics with, with their statistics shots on the goal 8 to 6 and now Let's get into the second intermission. And the uh, second frame is underway. The puck is dropped. You know, fed. Cody Lawrence has snagged the puck at center ice. Lays it back to Ruby Reddick. Lawrence has got, got the puck back and. If he blows the whistle for the offside, so that will lead on face off in front of a blue line. And this time, the team of Gilroy has won the draw. Ginger Falcone lost the puck against Jace Cole. Slides it over to Lawrence. And puck is now loose. And now that Lusa Waffles is now in the attacking zone, makes Henry pass to Ginger Falcone! And, um, but one Minneapolis defender got in the way on the shot and has prevailed the shot on the goal, and that's finally the 3 to 1 lead for the Minneapolis HC! And the score where Jay Cool. What a play for Minneapolis! Nice execution on the play! The Deeks. Yes, stick it and get past one of the defender from Gilroy and then is a great overview for his teammate Jay Cole on the other side of the ring and after he got the puck on his stick he has nailed the puck in the upper corner of the goal this time and now Sophie Hansen but with another shot but Coach Karp has intercepted it was really important right now now Jin, uh, Sieg Falconi Sieg Falconi, safe made by Jaden Kubler and um, the Minneapolis are back in possession. Logan Rule didn't get past him. He passed his defenders and now Gil uh, Gilroy is back in possession. Gertie Williams takes the puck off of them. Now fed Logan Rue with a shot. Glove safe from Reginald Johnson. Now Havel Chapek, if a shot from behind, why not? But leg save from Reginald Johnson. Now Bridget slides it over to Cunier Schoenes. Cunier Schoenes over the right side. And uh, this pass has found no receiver. And now they've had to make a rebuild in their play. Don Donaldson to Garrett Delfino. Now, uh, and now they were in grave danger a few moments ago, but uh, they are in the luck that... Uh, the Minneapolis HC hasn't used their mistake. And now Gerald Delfino on the other side of the ring. And Nick Gens has, has intercepted the center ring pass to his team. And now Sam Semita is now in the attacking zone. There's some space for the shot. Nick Gens! 
Six save from Reginald Johnson this time. Now Cornelius Jonesworth. Over the left side this time. Cornelius Jonesworth. Comes the cross on the back to Bridget. Cornelius Jonesworth has got the puck back. And Jaden Kubler has made a huge save on this shot. Score still 3 to 1. But the referee has wrote the whistle for a penalty violation against Havel Chapek because of hooking. Yes, we few the footage and yeah, there were a touch on the back. There were a touch on the leg from Cornelius Jonesworth. So if you ask me, that were a justified call from the ref and now as we get two. Now get two minutes of thinking time in the box. And now that could be a big time opportunity for the team of Gilroy to shorten up the result up to 3 to 2. Now Cornelius Jonesworth! But right off it shuts! Leg save by Jaden Kubla. And Minneapolis has cleared down the ice. But in defense is the only thing you can do in minority. And now the three blows and blows the whistle for another penalty violation against Minneapolis. And this time against Gertie Williams because of roughing. Let's review the footage. Yeah. And that's were definitely the case. Yeah. The Gilbert player were not even in possession of the puck and uh, she has pushed him away. She had just pushed him away and that's... Uh, and yeah, after that footage, it's another um, justified call from the ref. And now um, we've had Ginger Falcone! Uh, nee, Sieg Falcone! With a shot and his puck got rejected by the post, but now they're in a rebuild. Lusa waffles to Don Donaldson, Donaldson from behind! And they have intercepted the shot in the first place, but um, they've got the puck again and they've had, uh, made another shot and it got rejected by the post again. And now the team of Minneapolis are in luck. And a bit of luck. Now Bridget. A swing and a miss for her, but another rebuild from the team of Gilroy. And now the Minneapolis were finally able to clear the danger. And now we are back with five on five on the ice. So, so now the, you know, Gertie Willis has took off the puck from one of the Gilroy play in her own zone and she just make a shot. And then she just fires it up and, uh, but let's say from Reginald Johnson. And uh, about um, Gertie Willis, she's made a really good game so far, really good game so far. Now Sophie Hansen Bart, but first Sophie Hansen Bart! Wow, it was a really good execution on the shot from behind, but um, uh, they, have just made by, they have just missed the left goal, it was by an inch. Now Sophie Hansen Bart with a great chance to be it up to 4-1, and uh, but Gilroy has watched out and um, has denied it, but um, with Minneapolis got another face off in front of his goal. I won the draw again. Oh, who is faster? Dale Davis or oh, one of Minneapolis player. And it's where Dale Davis and um, it were a chance on the silver way for him to shorten up the road to 3 to 2. But um, yeah, at the end, it went glove save from Jaden Kubla. One minute and 45 seconds left in the second frame. We've had now Kate Rambo. She's in the attacking zone. Makes Henry pass to Jace Cole! And gets rejected by the post! That's pretty, but they are now in the rebuild. Kate Rambo! With a shot, and Pucci Meguda has, has intercepted it. Now Wally Dingled. Ninja Falcon, the Pucci Meguda lays it back to Coach Karp. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's finally the end of the second frame. 
in Minneapolis HC and a lead with 3 2 1. Yeah. They've made one another go in the second frame and they've survived a two man disadvantage. Yeah, due to that. They are still in the lead and that's. And um, that's a deserved result for now, if you ask me. And um, before we get to the third intermission, the deciding intermission, we we'll take a short look on the statistics. The Minneapolis HC are still in the lead with the face of statistics, 81 to 18 percent, as they're still in the lead with their shots and with the shots on the goal statistics, and they're leading with 16 to 10. And um, yeah, and and uh, the statistics shows also that the better team is in the lead, and that's the Minneapolis HC. Yeah, and now let's let's get into the third intermission. The players are back on the ice, they're gathering around the circle, so we are ready for the puck drop in a few moments, and the third second mission is now underway. Great hip check on against Jay Cole and uh, due to that they are in possession. Ginger Falcone is over the blue line right now. Great exit. It's a great overview for Lusa Woffels. And now, oh, Falcone. Uh, great prevailing. Sieg Falcone great prevailing against his defenders. Rebuilt by the team of Gilroy. Sieg Falcone. And Cody Lawrence has stopped the shot on the goal. And now he skates over the right side. No, he looks for a receiver, I think. Gets tip checked and uh, he hasn't fought back for the puck successfully. And now there could be the breakaway for Team of Gilroy. So if it's we're all alone, but uh, easy save for Jaden Kubler. Now face off in front of Jay, in front of a girl from Jalen Kubler and now Minneapolis has won the draw. Gertie Vilnis slides slides the puck to Logan Leroux on the other side of the ring. Logan Leroux over the left side lost the puck against his defender. Gets pushed in the, on the wall as well. Now Cornelius Jones could be the breakaway for Gilroy. Richard is all alone in right open lane to shoot, but we will from the team of Gilroy. And Mayakes was getting a penalty violation against her because of interference. Let's review the footage. Yeah, and it were definitely uh, the case. Good call by the ref. So two minutes of thinking time for her in the box. And now Gilroy has won the draw. Wally Dingle from behind! And shot gets rejected by the post! Oh, that were really beaty! But they are, that, they're made up a rebuild right now. Cornelius Johnson, looking for a receiver, finds Pucci McRuder. What does she do? She swipes the whip around, but not a watch from Jaden Kubler. And a face off in front of his goal. Wow, Minneapolis. And a bit of luck that, um, the, that, the, that the puck did, went into the goal a few moments ago. Now Wally Dingle. Cornelia Schoenz is now over the blue line. And now they got their goal. What a strike from Ginger Falcone. 3-2 is the score right now. Let's review the footage in a few moments. Connie Jones will have ran possession in at the center field and um, he's got the vision for his wide open teammate Ginger Falcone. No one felt responsible for her and she just fires it. 
and just for example nail the puck into the upper corner of the goal. What a nice what a nice finish from her. No chance to react on this one for Jaden. Kubla and now Team of Gilroy has got the approximately 11 minutes left to brought the game back into even. But no, the ungrave danger. Nick Gens for the breakaway. And that's the quick answer from Minneapolis HC. 4 to 2 right now. Yeah. After Dev, after Dev blocked the shot from Nick Gens, the puck came immediately back to him. And yeah, then the Gilroy defenders didn't came after him. They were too fast for him. And then he just fires it up and nailed the puck into the goal. 4-2 right now for the Minneapolis HC. And now the team of Gilroy has got 10 minutes left in the game to catch up two goals. In order to get in the overtime at least. And now Peter Korn to Don Donaldson. Don Donaldson from behind. And now just And there were a chance on a silver tray to Sean up to four to three. But they've just put it right and put the puck over the crossbar. And there were yeah, a big time opportunity. Big time opportunity. But yeah, they haven't used it. And that way. And due to that, they, they gave the team of Minneapolis some hope to, to keep up the victory until the end of the third intermission. But now Gertie Wilnis lost the puck against Ginger Falcone, I think. And now Peter Cornes handles the puck right now. Now Deal Davis. Looks for a receiver, gets hip check from Brian Wheeler. And they had a misplaced pass, one of the Gilroy defenders. And now they fade the 4 to 3. And finally, the second try, Mia Falconi, and uh, Zeke Falconi, sorry. Has made the shot into the goal. 4 to 3 right now. And now it's getting really intense. It's getting really intense, ladies and gentlemen. And it seems that Gilroy wanted to catch up the two goals in order to get an overtime at least. But May, the team of Minneapolis, is able to defend that. And now Sieg Falconi is getting back in possession. He's over the blue line. He digs it. And uh, Pascal intercepted. And now it, he's. He's trying to go for the web around. But. Um, uh, Jaden Kubler has watched out. And has defended the goal. 4 to 3 right now. Now Kirby Cheddar lost the puck against AJ Lawrence. And he's a regular against another Gilroy defender. And now Garrett Delfino. And now. Oh. Has defended very well and now back in possession. AJ Lawrence is now over the blue line. Let's back to Kate Rambo. Kate Rambo. He's back behind the blue line to a teammate, but um, the referee has blown the whistle for an off for offside, and that leads to a face-off in front of a blue line. Three minutes and 29 seconds left. It's a very intense game right now. 
Team of Gilroy has only three minutes left to tie, to equalize the game. In other words, to brought the game back into even, or to get in overtime at least. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Sieg Falconi to Coach Karp. And now, uh, Mr. Fersun again, Sam Semita. Still gets in possession, but lost the puck against Mia Falconi. But everyone defended, defended very well. It was really important for them, for the Minneapolis HC. One minute left in the third quarter. Now Ruby Reddick, they're in possession. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. That's finally the end of the game. The Minneapolis HC has won the game by the skin of a teeth with 4 2 3. It was a really thrilling game, especially in the third frame. The team of um, Gilroy has catch up two goals in the third frame, but um, the Minneapolis HC has made one more goal in the um, third frame. So it went uh, sufficient enough for Gilroy to get in. So yeah, um, the two goals that Gilroy has catch up weren't sufficient enough to get in um, Overtime, yeah, and then, yeah, that means that the team of Gil uh, team of Minneapolis HC has won the game. Congratulations for that! And last but not least, I put sets from all our Disney Ice Hockey teams right in the video. Take care and goodbye.